Okay, look, if you're watching this video, chances are very good that you're looking to take your stairs from something like this to what we're looking at right in front of me now. I decided to do this little stair DIY project here because this house was built in like 05, 06, has these wooden railings going upstairs. And there's three things that I wanted to do to upgrade this staircase. If you're in the same boat as me, you're just wanting to modernize things a little bit, clean them up. And I actually couldn't find that much information on YouTube on how to do this. There's a couple of videos out there, but some of them are too, too much. So this little project here, I'm not a contractor, I'm not a construction person, I'm actually a photographer by trade. So you know, I don't really know what I'm talking about and that should make this video even more useful. So the three things that I wanted to do to these stairs, the number one thing was these spindles that were on the stairs before. They have this decorative little thing on there and that's just kind of what shows the age on the thing. So I wanted to make all of the spindles straight, like how you see them now. I think I had about 20 or 25 of these on here. They were like every few on there. So I found a guy in town here and he, like at a stair place where they do railings and stuff like that, and they cut 20 of these pieces for me. It's just square tubing that's powder coated black. And that came in at about 200 bucks. It wasn't inexpensive, but it's not gross. So in order to do that, I had to take the, all the railings off and stuff to put the new spindles on. And that's where I ran into trouble looking for things on YouTube on how to do it because there wasn't really a clear answer on how to take these railings off. So I'm gonna show you that which is really not that hard, to be honest. I thought it'd be a lot harder. And then the second thing I wanted to do, obviously, was paint. Now, I actually started with the wrong kind of paint, which I'm a little embarrassed about, but I'm not too embarrassed to share that with you. So I had to sand it down again and start over with new paint. And I'm gonna show you that paint because I actually love this paint. It worked out really, really good. Uh, I'll show you the exact product that I use for that and the color, this is called Onyx Black. Uh, and then the third thing was removing other side handrails just to try and clean it up a little bit. Let me show you what I mean by that. So what I'm talking about when I'm talking about the additional handrails is that all along the side of this wall, there was more of these handrails, which look totally junky. So I just took them all off and then I filled the holes just with drywall mud uh, to clean it up. I don't know if that's against code. It probably is, but I don't really care because it looks nice and clean. If you're wondering what this bar is, this is my homemade pull-up bar. So every time I go up or downstairs, I do a couple pull-ups. I already did like 500 today. That's why I can only do one. <laughs> And then I also took off this big honking rail here. This came, this was kind of connected to here. Came down onto the wall. Actually, my mom was visiting at the time that I was doing this and she was like, why don't you just take that rail off? It's got that bend on the top that kind of makes it look dated and everything. So I'm just like, yeah, I'll get rid of that too. I don't need it. Okay, I found the paint that I used and I can't tell you guys how happy I am with this paint. This is a Glidden Epic one coat hide interior paint. I think it's kind of higher end, or if not, it's middle of the road to mid high. Um, you can see it's the flat accent base, which might freak a lot of people out. And you can see the paint code there, the Home Depot code, it's Onyx Black. Love this paint, it's the bomb. Everybody freaks out about the flat paint. Well, what about the kids? What about the kids? I have a six year old boy who crawls all over this hangs clothes over it, hangs towels over it, he's kicking balls around, hanging off it, jumping on it. It's fine, it doesn't scratch. I'm honestly, like super shocked. I'm honestly shocked. I haven't had to touch this up once. It's been like this for six months now, so it's pretty good. You can see I gotta wipe it down a little bit on the outside, but hey, flat works. And you know what else works? Subscribing to this channel so that I can make more awesome videos for you.
So go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. I'll wait. I wonder if you can hear that noise. It's my neighbors getting their vents done. You know why? Because they just got a professional renovation done. And when they put the fridge in, the water line broke. This isn't funny actually, but it flooded their whole basement, destroyed it. So they had to get the drywall done. Hence, that's why they're getting their ducts cleaned right now. Okay, let's move on. Here's the perfect example of how to get this railing apart because this is some of my shoddier work that you can see here right on this dot. So in this case, there's two rails connecting to the, to the uh, what do you call these things actually? A newel, I think, but I'm not sure. So you can see this hole right here. So that's what I had to remove and take the screw out. There's a screw that runs through there going this way. And then to connect the rail on the other side, there's a screw going through here where you can't really see where I fixed it. So what I had to do was drill a little hole through this little wood dowel. What this is is just a little wooden plug inside of here. So I drilled a small hole and then took a screwdriver, like a flat screwdriver, maybe start with one bigger like this and pound it in there just to break that little wood plug out and then pick it out with this little screwdriver and then you can get access to the screw and then the screw just comes right out. And then the exact same thing happens on this side, on the back of this post, there's the same little wooden plug, drill a hole in it, screw that out and then you get access to the screw and then that screw pops out and that's it holding this rail on is just those two screws. So once those two screws are out, just wiggle it a little bit and boom, this pops right off and then you can replace these spindles. So here's what the plugs look like that go inside those holes that cover the screws. This is an oak screw hole plug and it's a flathead plug. This is a half inch plug. It's not, so, not as much as a mystery as I thought it would be because you can get them on Amazon. So if I can find the link, I'll put it in the description below. And then what happens when you're going to paint, you screw it all back together and you still have the hole in there. So what you do is you take these oak plugs Put them in the hole, kind of pound them in with a hammer or a dead blow or whatever. And then once I got those in there, this one's giving me fits. Once you get that in there, pound that in there. And then I put a little wood filler on top of it, kind of sanded it down. And then you can paint it and Bob's your uncle. So when it came to actually painting the wood, I sanded it down, of course, to take the shine off because it was pretty glossy. But I didn't actually have to remove much trim. In fact, I don't know if I removed any trim. I don't know what these things are called and I wish I did know what they were called and I wish I would have invented them myself. But I got them at Home Depot. There's some sort of carpet painting widget thing that you just slide underneath your carpet and it slides underneath just like that. Oh my goodness, no taping. You can get right at it just like butter. Awesome. So if I could turn back time, there's really not a lot that I would have done differently. Of course, I started with the wrong paint and that was kind of a little bit of a screw up. Um, after taking the first railing off, I kind of figured out what I was doing. It's not that hard. It's actually easier than I thought it would be. Would I recommend this DIY project? Absolutely. It's not that hard. It makes all the difference in the world. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, I'm going to be super pissed if you don't subscribe. So do that for me. That's all I ask. And uh, stay tuned for the next uh, renovation project on this old house. Peace.